Hi there everybody, welcome to another video. On today's video I have this uh, door, belongs to a BMW E91, um, 2010. And I'm just gonna remove this uh, door panel here. Uh, so you can uh, assume that the door is on the car. <laughs> and um, we can follow the steps to remove the door card if you need to replace it or you need to get access to a inside of this where the window regulator is or the the door latch or lock um, so it's not a difficult one really pretty much the same as the front which i did a video about the front one the other day um, you need to remove this little cover here so with a something like a plastic prying tool you can go on the side there and just twist and this will start popping out it's just clipped in there um, so that will come out and then with a Torx something like this um, there are two screws one there and one there so I've already undone them two of them and the next step will be to okay so once you've loosened those two there is uh, one more in here one more torx screw in there so you could get something like this in there to try and pop this open it's just plugged in there and then <clears throat> you can undo that torx Okay, and then we need to start popping the door open uh, as in the door card to pull it out away from the actual door frame here so with one of these tools we're gonna go in on the side and start opening it a little bit something like that and start sort of trying to pop that door card out Sometimes it can they can be a little bit hard these clips and especially if you're using one hand but there's one there and as you go along the easier it will get. So I'm just gonna push the door here. In my case, well, the whole thing is moving because the door is off of the car. But uh, you can see that it's coming out. Um, so I just need to keep going on this side. Give me one second. Okay, so I just needed my two hands to pop this side out, to get this side out. And uh, now the whole thing is quite loose. Um, we also need to pull it out from this four clips up here um, so there we are and then lift it up to release it from here now we have our connections in here so we have that cable there for the speaker which can be a little bit hard to pull <laughs> uh, just unclip this here
this here you can just lift the little clip down there so lift the little clip there and disconnect that bit and then we really want to take this one out okay i just got a pair of pliers <laughs> so i can grab okay. this here properly and my pliers are sticking to the magnet and then this is a bit hard to remove Crazy, really. Okay, there we are. It's come out. It's got a like a tiny little. No, it hasn't actually. Well, yeah, it has like a tiny little clip on the side there, but I can't believe it's that strong. Right, so this is out, that is out, and now we have the uh, window switch as well. So I just turn the door card upside down, just have to uh, disconnect this one here as well. This one also sort of technically pulls out. Okay, so as I was saying. This one also pulls out of there. Okay, all of that is out, and uh, and that's pretty much it, really, as far as removing the door card. Um, if you have to get access to the um, inside of this, sometimes people just make holes to get access. But if you can carefully take this uh, soundproofing out, then you'll be able to get access to behind this. I, I don't need to do that. All I'm doing today is I'm replacing the door card from this door to the other door, but that would give you access in there or in here if you had to remove the door lock or something like that. So, and I'm gonna need this bit here actually, comes out. Um, and uh, well, that's pretty much it. So, hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. So, thank you for watching.